Guess who's back in the house? He was click clacking about fine, fresh, feminine. I can't say the rest because that rhyme is so complicated. I hope that you guys are having an amazing weekend. Last week, or no, this week um, on Wednesday, I attended Work the World Los Angeles at the Orpheum Theater in downtown LA, and it was amazing. I was blown away. If you love Drag Race, you have to see the contestants on Work the World. It was actually the first tour out of the Drag Race universe that I attended. And I actually will be attending more because I was thoroughly entertained. So in this video, I wanted to talk about highlights of Work the World LA and also discuss uh, the meet and greet and uh, give you uh, kind of like funny behind the scenes um, events that happened. So for Work the World LA, Asia O'Hara was the host and Asia was the show. She was incredible from the start to the finish. Um, it would be interesting to see kind of like how Michelle Visage uh, was a host because she's been the host in kind of like some of the other tours versus Asia. Asia is hilarious um, and she really makes you feel right at home and I felt very centered with her behind the mic. Um, she just sold it for me and I'm so glad that she's so far away from Butterfly Gate and is able to um, really show who she is as a drag artist. So I loved her. So on the tour for Work the World LA, Asia O'Hara, Plastique, who is just so unbelievably beautiful, like standing next to Plastique, everyone else just looked um, larger and hairier for some reason. Uh, she's tiny and just completely beautiful. So Asia, Plastique, Vanji, Kim Chi, Cameron Michaels, Evie Oddly, the current reigning queen of Drag Race, and Naomi Smalls. Um, highlights of the show. Um, Kim Chi's solo performance was incredible. She did kind of like this aerialist act where she was suspended in the air um, and the kind of like bottom of her body was draped in this beautiful flowy fabric that was like this really beautiful like seafoam green. Uh, gorgeous. She had on this really cool um, hooded um, garment that had this kind of really cool kind of like very, um, very fine, delicate white uh, threading uh, that kind of like um, billowed and moved in the wind. And so kind of like midway through the performance, uh, the the uh, drapery around her lower half was removed and we saw that she was actually standing on like this staircase and she um, walked down Kimchi is more of a look queen. Um, you know, during her season, uh, choreography just wasn't her thing. And so I actually don't mind that because she can turn, I've never seen Kimchi look bad ever. Um, and so I, I kind of like wish they would have kind of played up on her, um, her, her, the look and not any type of like choreography because that would have kind of like really um, sealed her performance. It was good, but I just kind of like wanted more. I wanted a Mariah Carey moment from Kim Chi. I wanted people like carrying her around the stage um, later into the performance. But overall, I really loved her. Um, people went crazy for Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie is like one of the Besides from Latrice Royale, I think Miss Vanjie is like the most beloved queen in the drag race universe. People were just kind of like screaming for Miss Vanjie. Um, overall, she gave great choreo. 
um she is her background is as a dancer and so um from from uh the beginning of her solo to the end she really sold it um and i really loved her costume she started off with kind of like this really long uh beautiful lace front and ended in a kind of like a short bob um so i really liked miss vangie uh naomi smalls um had a kind of like a wow moment and so at the start of her performance you could only see her from behind and she was wearing her iconic look from the season finale of all stars that kind of like um that wide brim purple hat and this kind of like bedazzled purple gown and so she had on that outfit and so um but the thing that kind of like confused me is that she had a shaved head which I was like wait a minute something's going on here and then kind of like from um stage right we actually see the real Naomi appear in this long blonde wig in a similar outfit and we realized that the person that was on stage was one of the male dancers so I kind of like loved that moment and um Cameron Michaels um who is really kind of like one of the chameleons of drag race she can wear any hair color um she can wear different silhouettes you will always know it's her um but she can kind of like get away with like a number of different kind of like gimmicks and i loved her entrance she descended uh from the ceiling and i couldn't tell from where i was sitting but it looked like she hit a split but i couldn't tell someone who was there please who's closer let me know if she like hit a split i couldn't tell um but just the intensity of her performance um was amazing she can dance um at one point it wasn't during her solo performance but during the group performance she was doing j setting which i was not expecting that at all and not only was she j setting but she was doing it correctly and so I really appreciate that. I wish she would have had like a J set battle with like Vanjie. That would have like really got everyone up out of their feet at the theater. Um, Asia, um, she just from like kind of like hosting the opening um, to kind of like the kind of like brief kind of like intermission, she did this really cool. Um, this skit where she invited three people from the audience to do kind of like quick drag looks. And she was just hilarious. She could actually do, um, I don't know if it still goes on, but the haters roast tour. Like I could definitely see her on that tour because she's able um, to really feed off the audience and work with volunteers uh, to land uh, great jokes. And so, she was the highlight. Her solo performance was the best out of everyone. She used these kind of like really cool um, play. She used play off of kind of like light and shadows, which I've never seen that in drag, but it was spectacular. It, she used at one point this kind of like cube that was glowing different colors and then she used some type of like spear um it looked like it had like spikes at the end of it but of course they weren't spikes um but they were changing color and at one point it said la and then another point it said i think it said dodgers and so i love that um the group performance uh was beautiful everyone you could see kind of like um everyone's personality in their uh costumes and so there was a point where um they have kind of like uh a reveal all of them have a reveal into kind of like a a gold look 
And so Evie Audley had on this really cool uh, green um, lace and feather outfit that she kind of like removed. And when she removed it, she threw it in the middle of the stage. And so I think she was trying to like throw it further away, but it hit the middle of the stage. And uh, Kimchi and Plastique tried to move it um, but unfortunately, Kim Chi fell on it. And so um, I posted the actual uh, group performance video on my channel. And someone, uh, one of my favorite uh, subscribers said that um, if, Kim, if Kim Chi doesn't fall, like, you know, something's up. It's, uh, it's a part of who she is. And I wish she would have kind of like played it up even more. Uh, because she's known for falling and um, I've come to expect that from her and it's it's kind of an adorable at this point um, and so I just she would have like played it up because like the audience would have thought that it was actually part of the performance because she falls so much uh, one of my favorite podcasts is sibling rivalry with Bob the drag queen and Monet exchange and Bob has this great story about kimchi falling down some steps in Chicago at a club and it is hilarious. Follow them um, to really uh, fall in love with Bob and Monet all over again. So I want to talk about the meet and greet. So I was sitting in the seventh row. So I think this is how it works at for all of their shows across the world. The first five seats or rows, I should say, your ticket includes the meet and greet, which that wasn't listed anywhere. And so I would have paid the additional, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks for the next um, seat up to do the meet and greet. I actually really wanted to do the meet and greet. Um, but with the meet and greet, I don't know if you had to buy merchandise to actually uh, take photos with the queens. Um, so that, I don't know. If anyone actually was at the meet and greet in, meet and greet in LA, let me know if you had to buy merchandise, uh, but it's worth it. Um, I would have loved to um, taken a photo with Asia and Evie. Um, Evie was one of the only queens that I actually took a photo with at DragCon LA. Uh, because I I love her. She was amazing, by the way. Um, she her performance uh, was like kind of like this mad scientist uh, performance with her bending and flipping um, and these kind of like unusual gestures throughout her performance. I loved it. Uh, she's incredible, um, and she actually performed at the official after party at Mickey's in West Hollywood and I stayed up till about 3 a.m. that night so it was a very long day for me um what else oh and the meet and greet is actually two hours before the show um FYI and so if you can't attend any of the other follow-up uh, shows for the rest of Work the World, um, go. Um, don't even think about it. It is completely worth it. And then, um, actually, there's going to be a Drag Race Vegas show, which they actually introduced at Work the World, which I didn't know this, but I'm actually, um, I would love to do it. And I don't know if this is a part of it, but Vegas Pride is coming up and Katya and Trixie are actually doing a like a live show of uh there and so I don't know if this is part of Drag Race Live or if this is completely different um but I would I would love um to see the Vegas show um so I hope that you guys love this video. Um, I'll be posting more videos from Work the World LA. Um, please be kind to everyone in the community.
there has been a lot of violence towards some of the trans members in our community. Um, please show them love, support them any way that you can. So until next time, have a wonderful day. Besos.